Well, you may say I am a bit too impulsive. Get it? The Impulse Gundam? Me being impulsive? What a pun. And yes, he did do this in the show when he's battling against the freedom. What is going on guys, MG from 2005 Gundam here and today I'm going to be reviewing the high grade Cosmic Era Force Impulse Gundam Revive. Now here it is this divided into its four components. Now here is the chest flyer, here is the course course blender, which is un which is all in white, disappointingly. Here is the leg flyer. And here is the silhouette flyer. Now the silhouette flyer and the course blender is not colored, which is a disappointment. And yeah, despite that. They all transform and re represent like anime accuracy despite the color. Well, that's not a complaint. Well, for the chest flyer and the leg flyer, they all have adapters because yeah, you need these adapters in order to put them onto an action base. So, let me just remove them for now. They come in the kit, by the way. So I should remove it in order to commence the transformation. Now, in the old high grade from Prime 92's review, you actually have like an actual transform core splinter to cut, not to cut, to plug into the actual torso. But this one, it is just a regular backpack and it just plugs onto the back of this thing. So now the actual transform core splinter does not, doesn't need it. Now what you're going to do is to bring down the arms and push them in. And bring down this arm, rotate the shield. And I'm going to get rid of it for now because I'm going to show them off in the accessories section anyway. And also put this arm now, strain it out. And for now I'm going to get rid of the rifle. So now here is the torso and core splendor transformation and then for the leg flyer it's basically just the same as tra any transforming gundam just straight out the legs put up the feet and you're done now it plugs into these two pegs in the torso so it is going to be solid if you position them right and it is done now I'm going to be putting the silhouette flyer to the side because that is going to be in the accessory section anyway. So this is the impulse. And yeah, to be honest, the color apps, like literally, it is, it's a step up from the old one because according to Prime 92's review, like you do not have the yellow on the chest, on the knees, you don't have the white and light blue on the shoulders and the waist skirts. And, well, one thing that didn't change is that there's no color for the course blender. So you're going to have to color them yourselves. But in terms of proportions, this guy looks amazing. And But the gimmicks are a bit of a downside because this one is just a regular backpack course blender. While the old one, you actually need to plug it into the torso. Gimmicks-wise, it is a downside. So stickers, you have... The forehead, the back of the head, the eyes, the yellow on the chest, at least stickers, and the triangles on the knees. And that is it. So for articulation, this guy definitely is a step up from the old one. Because, yeah, it is not on the regular potty cap ball joints, but it can go up and down, a little bit forward and back. You can rotate and there is an actual neck joint which lets you put the head very high. And the arms they're on like this non polycap mounting joint. So you can put the arm up like this far and it can go out this far, the torso is coming apart. Go that far. They can the the arm can rotate. It can rotate above the shoulder. Above the elbow, bend at the elbow, at two joints, and the wrist rotates and wiggle. The waist actually has a little bit of articulation, so the the stomach can bob up and down, 
and it's on the polycap ball joint, so you can rotate side to side. So front skirts can move, side skirts can move, back skirts are stationary as usual. The legs can go up and down separate from the waist. And then they can go forwards, backwards, outwards, rotate at the hip, double joint to the knee, but the way that the way that the knee is designed. And most can only go that far. Because the top joint is meant to go forwards. So you can kind of have a broken leg for the impulse. And then the foot armor can move up and down. The foot, the actual foot can go back, forwards and back. So, can it go side to side? Yeah, it can go side to side. Rotate a little bit. And token point down because of how he transforms. So all in all, the articulation is definitely a step up from the old one. So you can do a lot more poses in this guy. So accessories. Now you do not get like the army knives that were stored in the side skirts, which is a bummer. Well, to be fair, the old one doesn't have them as well. Well, you have the shield from the chest flyer, and I accidentally removed this. Well, you're gonna need it to need to mount it on. So, you may be asking, how do we transform it from this compact to the spread out mode? Well. It's not as simple as you think. Like, I would expect like tracks like the master grade to slide up, but no, you can actually just push out the mounting port and basically remove the red pieces for your convenience and just basically find something to push it out. I use the core splendor to push it out because that works. And this compact shell doesn't need, be, need to be used. In. Now you have this expanded one. So you can basically push this in and put down the red pieces lower than usual and put this one higher than usual. So here is the spread out shield. It is kind of tedious and finicky to set up but it is an old, it isn't step up because it has all the color wraps. Not like the old one which the shield piece is all red. So you have the force impulse shield. Now you have the beam rifle. So it is a nice beam rifle, a white sticker for the scope, a red sticker for detailing in the sides, and it can be stored on in the back skirt. And as you may see, I need to split the hand cover and put the beam rifle in in order to let it hold. So here is the beam rifle. Okay, so, and then finally, the main attraction to make it the Force Impulse is the Force Silhouette Pack. Now, you can remove the Silhouette Flyer, and in the old one, you need to switch pegs, but this one, all the pegs are implemented. Now, the, like the Silhouette Flyer connects to the uh, two, re two rectangular pegs, and then the Impulse it's going to be using the giant round peg so you can just basically plug it in and put the wings down now the bottom ones are red of red plastic but the top four wings every piece of red are stickers well which is not an improvement because the old one is also like that well this does have some articulation though the bottom wings are on ball joints and the top wings are on a hinge and on the force pack, you have beam sabers. And then Bandai gave you two clear pink beams. So you can basically let the impulse use it. Use it. So that is all the accessories of the Force Impulse Gundam. I'm gonna have to go with this pose because it doesn't want to stand well. So, for comparisons, let's compare it to the Gundam Astaroth. And also, let's compare it to the high grade double O Quanta.
there may be no relevance in between these three kits, but I just feel like doing it. So, that is all to the high grade Gun Impulse Gundam, the Force Impulse to be specific. Now, I they are going to be releasing a P Bandai Blast Impulse, which I would get if I had the chance to find it in Hong Kong. Because, yeah, Hong Kong, some of the model stores sell P Bandai stuff. So, I hope I can find it when it is released. And also, I hope they will be renewing the Sword Impulse after the Heiakushiki as the 201st Hybrid Universal Century Kit. So, I'm probably going to be getting the Sword Impulse if it would ever come out. So, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please be sure to drop a like, comment, and also subscribe for more gaming videos, model reviews, and all that kind of stuff. Subscribe to Ultra Prime if you haven't, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.